Hello YouTube! I'm Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Roos 2, the second demo. Yeah, so Bellatro's not the only game out there with a secondary follow-up demo that, that's uh, out. And I don't actually, uh, I, I, I was told this is an early access to the demo. I don't actually remember when the demo itself is coming out, but this will be eventually coming out as a demo. Uh, for for the, the the greater playerscape out there, but the devs reached out to me and said, "Hey, we updated the demo, so take a look if you're if you're interested." And I am interested. I definitely uh, like with Bellatro want to play the heck out of this game once it is uh, fully ready for release. But they did do some things um, different uh, uh, compared to the last demo. I've played through one one trial game here. So an interesting thing is that it, what first off, it shows your planet based on your um, how how you developed it. In this particular planet, I didn't create any oceans, so this world doesn't have any oceans. It even tells us what cities that we had and what uh, what different um, you know different different units that we that we had, what what groups we had. So kind of like the the recap on Against the Storm, where it tells you what types of groups you had and what types of bonuses and all that sort of thing. So it's it's a nice little recap. I like it. But we can only go one era in the demo, uh, so we can't continue this one. So we're going to create a new one. Now I like this. This is a new design space. Um, if we, um, we, we can choose a human spirit and um, basically this sort of um, plays on what we were looking for, you know, what kind of specialization you want the world. And uh, orig my original game, we only had the goddess one. I, and we can see from here, we completed a planet with the goddess. So let's choose one of the other, either Huntress um, or Inventor. Uh, all Biotica with a base curio yield gain 40% knowledge if Biotica is unique in the biome. So, yeah, so if they yield that then and, and they're unique, they get 40% extra science, which is nice. And then here, all herbivores gain 100% food if there are exactly two copies of this Biotica in the biome. So if we spam out animals here, um, then we can get extras of that. You know what? Let's. I like. I like the diversity because apex uh, items tend to to um, demand diversity points. So we're gonna go with this. Now, one other interesting design space here is. I want to see something. Is there a way to reorient them? No. So it looks like while while this isn't a uh, this the, this isn't a, something we can manipulate at the moment, they are working on more giants than just the standard ones, the the traditional ones, and it looks like you can draft what giants you bring on any given run. So you, we might not bring an ocean giant. There might be some other giant that we bring for the animal aspect, but that could presumably prevent us from even getting into oceans. Um, so yeah, let's, I mean, I guess we're going to take the standard array here. Um, we, we did our first world with guiding messages, so let us not. Okay, um, and once again, as a reminder uh, to con contrast this from the way things worked in um, the uh, original, we we did not. Um, it, it's not real time anymore. We every action we do spends eon, and that gets us to that. That's how time progresses. That that is that's what limits how much we can do where and when. Um, let's see, this group is the inventor group, which makes sense. We took that. Um, so I'm trying to think, who give, who's the best for science? I know desert tends to be best for uh, money. Ocean tends to be good for food. So let's go, let's go swamp here. 
rainforest, actually. It is no longer specifically the swamp. Um, and yeah, apparently you can expand the planet, although we don't have any planet expansion. But yeah, let's start with the rainforest. Um, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll start with that. And then I like just to prov just to keep things interesting. Um, we're going to put the uh, settle the nomad. I usually I usually do it just right here on the end. If we need to extend the uh, oh, it's raining over there. That's nice. That well, makes sense for a rainforest. Uh, we put it over here, and that way we guarantee that they we can control which way they push forward. Can we change the name of the city? We cannot. Okay, so we need to be on the lookout for um, by basically anything anything that has a base of thing like the the Ramon tree here uh, has a base of curio that little that little blue um, shell there that's curio which basically increases the knowledge for technology level uh, we also have a sp space that boosts science so we want to find our biggest heaviest hitting knowledge producer of any type and plop it right there in fact, we might actually want to start building from this side. Well, no, we can't because it's it's within here. But this might we want to put might want to put some late game thing here. So you are money and food. You are money and curia. Okay. Adjacent to a biogen with a base of science. So I think stone is going to be our correct answer here. Um, because it's 10 plus 10, so that's 20 base. Um, if adjacent to a bioticum with a base of science, we go over here, this would be a bioticum of, of a base with science. We could put the tree over here. So let's put the tree here. And then putting, putting this tree down uses up 5 eon. Um, and then we go here, create our stone. And remember, see those lines? The, there's two different rows, but they link up with each other. So this and the tree are technically next to each other. All right, they're happy about that. Uh, now we can't we can't do everything about science, although they are they are leveling up pretty well, slowly absorbing the science here. And we can we can just based on those settle a brand new nomad already. So we don't necessarily have to go nuts. Started processing stone to provide. Pe oh yeah, so that's a new thing here. Is that they uh, civilizations based on the stuff that you give them uh, create new new uh, things here, um, new trade goods that they can either trade with each other or fight over. Um, so huntress wants huntress wants animals. Um, merchant wants money, obviously. Um, I think we're going to go merchant. I'm going to settle my next town extra early. Hmm. Yeah, I think we want to start it over here. We've got a desert going. Hmm. 
creating a new mountain. I don't actually know how we get those points, but let's start with, let's go with the bud desert. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the desert people might expand into the uh, jungle a little bit, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And yeah, we get three three new um, things just from founding the town, because it starts with a one in each. Red Wild's Fountain. Alright. Um, also, we have these uh, flag bearers, which want to attach themselves to a giant. Uh, we will... We will pick up that giant here, or that monarch here. Inspire the leader. I'm going to start a new project here in Lush Grove. Uh, what should we look for? Stone cutter. Each unique element biota come within borders or herbalist. Each science undergrowth. Um, we're going to go with the stone cutter. We may need to do desert on the other side here. All right, so we already have one stone cutter. But we're going to need more elements. Yeah, amethyst does not count as an element. So we absolutely need... Now, hang on. Let's see. What the... Um, Agade and bedrock. Okay, so we absolutely need to have um, ocean next to here. We make an ocean here. Because we definitely need bedrock. There we go. Now we just need to make sure they expand in this direction. City with at least eight prosperity. So they want a little bit more, but we have room just in their main thing here. And yeah, it looks like Red Wilds pushed that, which is actually a good thing because I want Camp Lush Grove to go into the ocean a little bit. Um, all right, so let's let's find just, you know, rather than a specific element, we just want to do a heavy hitting. Um, papaya tree has at least three biodiversity, and that's going to be a thing um, because the Joshua tree, or the Ramon tree, why did, why did I think the Joshua tree? Uh, it'll be good. And while, yes, it's food, it's it's a lot of food. Uh, now, are there any other things here? No no to animals. What, what do we have for animals? Critter, herbivore, or adjacent to critter? I'm not really looking at the, uh, the animals here. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to go papaya tree. Now, if there was something that said it gains a bonus for being next to trees, then that would be something we'd want to put here. So we could put the papaya tree over here. Because here it just only cares about the biodiversity of the entire bo biome. Yeah, I'm going to put it over here just in case there's something that plays off of trees over here. Okay. Either way, that's going to give them 20 more food, which will increase their uh, prosperity and complete this side quest. And since um, it, it's easier to create, there we go. Also, um, the other thing I wanted to do, yes, we got our inspiration, which means we can unlock something. Um, where's our, yeah, our giant here. We want them to pick up this leader so that we can get that quest. 
All right, what do we got here? Trapper, unique animals within borders, or um, for each beast of burden. Uh, we'll go. We'll go trapper because you're gonna have unique animals um, on both sides. We we have animals of of here, and we have animals in the desert. So we can definitely go heavy animals here. So now we, we definitely want to go heavy animals. Um, if there is a mineral in the biome, which there is, the stone, and sand cat, um, there's a critter biome, which there is. So, well, that's that here. So here, critter and if adjacent to critter. Yeah, so these two are pretty, pretty simple. Uh, actually, we'll do the guinea pig here. We also need to use our inspiration, but I want to get this, the, these basics down first. Because we could also make a... So yeah, these are all unique ones. And then we put two more animals over here once we get them to expand out towards the desert itself. All right, they do still need a little bit more prosperity. Although they can't, they're still gaining. They're up to seven. Is that a new, a oh, new trade mission? So it looks like they've got some some a, a trade good here. Um, let's look at our inspirations. Rainforest. Cayman. There are at least three unique reptile. It also comes with the squirrel monkey and the tarot. Oh, there's the squirrel monkey is is remember how I was saying let's 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 have them next to um, to that the squirrel monkey definitely will help us out um, there are at least three unique um, reptile biotica yeah I think the caiman is the correct answer here I mean, we will want to get the iguana, too. But let's start with the caiman. So what we'll do here is... Yeah, so they're selling their pet rocks here. Um, we will put our caiman here. In, in here. It won't trigger the uh, reptile crown just yet. And just again, if there's something that is, gains um, bonuses for being next to animals, like just general in, animals in general, um, we'll want to put it here, so I'm going to put the, the caiman up here. Now that uses up some of our um, diversity points because it's an apex. And yeah, that should get the uh, Red Wild's uh, prosperity quest done. And then some. They love that Caymans. Just, yeah, dancing in front of the Caymans. Um, might not want to do that. All right. So now we have that monkey, the squirrel monkey. And that's going to do wonders with the, um, with the knowledge base here. Because there's two trees. It is a knowledge 
thing, and it gains us more biodiversity, which this, this thing actually wants. So yeah, we're back on that. That get, that reactivates the bio booster here. We have surplus bio booster from the Cayman. So now everybody's happy. All right, looks like they are finally expanding their borders. Unfortunately, they are not going to the ocean. I wanted them to uh I wanted them to go to the ocean. But we, so what we'll do is we'll probably max out Lush Grove here just so that they can go one way. Cause now they literally can't expand their borders any further. Let's see here. Where it's, uh, what's the status of our quest here? Do we have, we don't have an inspiration yet. I don't know what the other guy wanted, if not for an inspiration. Unless the progress point is what I'm building towards. All right, so let's see what we have here. So we have this stone. I do remember seeing... Um, plus one if adjacent to an animal biome. Yeah, unfortunately, this is if adjacent, not per animal. If it was per animal, this thing would go crazy. Taro, if adjacent to a mineral bioticum. That sounds good to me. Well, mineral, any stone is a mineral, even if it doesn't say that. So we will put you here to get the adjacency with the stone and more biodiversity. All right, so yeah, Lush Grove needs a little bit more for and as you can see, as they get higher, it requires more and more to level them up. So we'll get more prosperity out of doing food or uh, wealth. But we get more bonuses for science. All right. We only want to put di uh, um, diverse things here. So we could do a jungle gem just for the diversity. Because um, actually putting it here would put it next to the Cayman, which would fulfill the... Um, the uh, if adjacent to animal bio um, yeah I think that's the that's the correct answer here get a get a little uh, and again it, it even though it's just a mineral it adds to the biodiversity because it is the the one it's the one of its only thing We need one more progress point. Now, the question is, are you guys going to push out? They might need to wait for the next Eon here. Yeah, they're going to they're going to wait till the next Eon um, to push out their borders, even though we filled out their their borders here. That's OK. Have you guys we probably need to fill out this one right here. All right, the squirrel monkey would have would work here, except that we don't have any trees for them to be next to. So we're probably going to need to do something else. A Ramon tree is not biodiverse. Um, I mean, we could do another papaya for extra food here. Um, this is technically next to a mineral. 
But I really want something that interacts with animals. I mean, besides the amethyst, because we already placed an amethyst and it's limited in its usefulness. Besides, this place already has plenty of money, so I might... You don't have a... You don't have a base of... Yeah, none of these are bases of science, so we can't... We can't do stone. We could do... Yeah. I don't want it, another caiman because that costs us extra uh, biodiversity. So is there something we haven't placed yet in in here? I don't think so. I think the Ramon tree might have to be it, but it's really kind of weak. I might go papaya. I really just want a different inspiration though. Because I, I, can, I can almost guarantee that there's something better out there to place in that spot. But we don't really have any other... Do we have any other nomads that we could tap? I don't think we have any nomads that we can tap right now. So we're going to have to fill that spot with something. We already have the guinea pigs. We already have the pit viper. We already have... Yeah, we already have all of the animals here. The only thing that's different here is that this... What's... What's your... What's your deal again? Somewhere it should t remind me what their... The trapper does. Or rather, what our bonus is from them. Trapper, there we go. For each unique biota come within borders. Um, eight with for each mystery in biotica. No clue what the mystery is. So, the squirrel monkey is going to really suck here. But if we want to look at it this way, oh, the squirrel monkey costs us um, biodiversity too. You can see it costs us two to place it, which it would actually weaken the caiman. So we do not want that. We're just going to have to punt and go with the papaya tree. I might replace that later on. But we've got plus six, so... And that, got, that exactly got us uh, growth. And they're sending out people and we have new nomads. Huh. You guys aren't sending out nomads, though. I wonder if it is based uh, on... Alright, they finally expanded out to the desert. And we want to settle our... So what are our remainders here? The goddess, uh, particularly interested in gold. Huntress is food and gold. We'll probably go Huntress here. Um, because we can get food in on one half, gold on the other. Put the city right down there. Half in the ocean, half uh, half in the desert. All right, and they're right into the. Uh... But let's let's work on the red wilds here. Um, do we have any? Yeah, we do have this. So let's pick up the leader. See if we can get their quest. Go, 
All right, hunter for each herbivore biocome within borders or trapper for each animal. Oh, so we could do more trapper. And you're on the border of two different biomes. Um, although the goddess tenderly tends to want um, herbivores. So hunter looks like strictly weaker than trapper because each unique animal versus each unique herbivore it's more restrictive and gives us less so we'll go trapper double trapper uh, red wilds Oh, they're already at uh, Prosperity 8, I think. It's hard to see, actually. Nope, 3 of 8. But we're we're going to fix that because now we can now we have desert animals and that's two more thing. If there is a mineral biotecum in biome, um there isn't yet, but there will be. So yeah, we just need to put down a a mineral at some point. But for the trapper purposes here. Right, that should give them a ton of stuff here. Time has come for a new era. Crevices, mountains, gain one, drafts, drafts. All right, so now we can choose which direction we want to go in. Um, so the Monument Age comes with a, a thing. Merchant City has to have 16. Inventor City satisfies has at least two element. Um, yeah, we should be, we should have that. Neolithic Revolutions is one I did before. Yeah, you know what? Let's do Monument Age. All right, so we have to we have to be mindful of the Merchant City. Wait, Huntress's city satisfies? I thought you wanted the inventor city to satisfy. Because I was about to say, you guys have, um, I mean, I want to finish this part off anyway. Um, adjacent to a plant. And then your, your whole deal here Stone cutter for each unique uh, element bioticum within within borders. Yeah, stone is an element. Oh yeah, we have our inspirations now. Finally, um, let's go for desert. I have a feeling that's going to be important. Ostrich. There's more animals. Also unlocks the topaz. Um, lapis lazuli, yeah, we're not going for that. And then the date palm gives us the sand grouse. Olive tree. And date palm for each adjacent bottom that has a base gold yield. Yeah, I know we want ostrich. And then topazes is, is going to be useful just in general, but it's the it's the ostrich we're more interested in. And then I think we're going to want one for the um ocean. 
All right, coral rock is an element. That's going to be very useful. Also unlo unlocks if there are at least three animal biotica. Yeah, I think this is the correct answer here because we're going to be putting animals elsewhere in the ocean. We just need to get other corals going. Bedrock, unfortunately, is not a uh, coral here. All right, so this can be a little tricky, though. We're going to put you here. We need more diversity here. There's a bonus gold booster. There's our ostrich, which does boost food and gold. Um, now the cat, it, it gets a boost when it is next to empty spots. Um, the Jeroba is, well, the Jeroba is not gonna get its mineral booster here if we do that. So we kind of need a mineral here. Uh, redstone, if adjacent. Quartz is just pure. I think we're going to go to quartz here. So that we boost the Jeroba. And then I think we're going to put the ostrich here. We get the extra burrow from there. We get the bonus quartz. And then we throw down our ostrich here. Which will also satisfy our trapper. And I mean, these other two spots are technically empty, so it gets bonuses from that. They're starting to become impatient, though. Okay, so again, I'm having trouble reading this. Three of eight. So we need to focus fire on red wilds, otherwise they're just going to get angry with us. Alright, so this counts as barren. The withered shrub. It's not particularly strong, but it lets our ostrich keep their bonus while still providing something. Um, and then... Oh, if it's in the biome, it doesn't necessarily have to be adjacent to them. Well, still. Actually, no, that might... Redstone... Baron. We still have more inspirations, don't we? Yes, we do. We have one for the rainforest. Um, gumbo limbo for each surplus. Yeah. Plus the iguana. I think we can make some improvements to our rainforest area. Yeah, this papaya tree uh, can get replaced with something much better. Actually, no, we want the iguana over here. That will give us much better because it's next to a mineral um, and it's a new biodiverse uh, animal for their trapper bonus.
And the Caymans get the reptile crown because we ha now have three reptiles in there. That should improve things. Wait, that's Red Wild Fountain. Oh, Red Wild's Haven. Oops. No wonder they're getting annoyed with me. All right, so we want animals here, but we want fish. They're next to a coral. Let's try to make the coral this way over here. So we're going to do the herring on the food booster spot. And then we do the clownfish over here. So they opened up over here. Super Booster. Super Booster, eh? What animals do we have? Well, I mean, um, ostrich would work, except that these two spaces where the city occupies are not, not uh, considered open. But we do kind of want to get into... better than the Jeroba. We can do better than the Withered Shrub for... Adjacent to a gem biome. You're not a gem. Yeah, we need to, we need to unlock some other stuff here. I mean, I wish this space was not on the edge here. Because we can do another cat here. Yeah, we'll do another one here, even though... So we put the ostrich here. That's going to use up the remaining biodiversity in the desert, but that's okay. Oh, two element biotica. We need element biotica. We have nine eon to complete the ma the. Exporting pet rocks. All right, um, let's talk about element coral rock. There's our coral rock. There's our bedrock. We can put down our coral rock on the super spot, and that will boost the clownfish. So the Merchant City is done. We should be able to do this with the last placement here. Adjacent to a coral bioticum. Is that not a coral bioticum? Hmm. Q. 
furious. Regardless, um, we need to complete the monumental city. So we need this last placement needs to be an element biotecum. Um, so we placed the coral rock already. Um, bedrock will satisfy it, but not very well. On the on the other side, on the desert side, we can place the redstone. It's not going to score very well. In fact, it's going to hurt the ostriches. So... Jason to a plant. We don't have any plants down just yet. Oh, see an enemy would do it, but that's not an element. Yeah, if we 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 gotta put we gotta do a suboptimal play here, um, just to make sure that we get our element down. So I think we're gonna get footing the bedrock. Um, all right, out of Eon. In addition, every act of defiance will add doom. When the doom limit is reached, you'll... Oh, yeah, we just we just completed the main quest. So, yeah, that basically would allow you to... Yeah, we just completed on time. They just got to the point where they were getting pissed off. But now they're like, oh, okay, you actually finished us. The pyramids! Ooh, three stars. Not too shabby. From um, from one overspent eon. That's fine. Uh, 47 from prosperity. And from other bonuses. Not quite all the way up to three, but... Yeah, we got that. So I don't know what the, what the three... What this is. Might be just levels in total. Alright, looks like, yeah, we unlock new stuff. Ooh, banana. So yeah, nice uh, meta, obviously there's missing art assets here, but again, it's just a demo. But this is better than I did on my original test run. Alright, and there we go. Uh, so, if you guys uh, like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya!